You have never had frozen custard like this before. Chef Des coming at you from my kitchen again, and yeah, we're gonna make the best frozen custard you have ever had because we are doing something completely different. You've heard of strawberry ice cream, right? Obviously. But today we're gonna make roasted balsamic strawberry frozen custard with good old BC eggs. Always remember that every single large BC egg has 14 key nutrients, all nine essential amino acids, over six grams of the highest quality protein you can get. And one large egg, it's only 80 calories. So this is going to be the healthiest thing in this frozen custard. Let's be honest, I mean, this is a treat. The strawberries are good for you as well, but with those kind of nutrients packed inside this BC egg, you really can't beat this ingredient. Let's get busy and show you how this is done. Let's make the custard part of this recipe by using two cups of whipping cream, and we're just putting it in a medium pot, along with one cup of milk. I use whole milk, homogenized, the highest fat milk you can. Remember, this is a dessert. So we're gonna heat this on the stove top, but before I turn on the heat, I wanna get the yolks prepared. So we're gonna need five yolks from large eggs, a big mixing bowl, a whisk, and three quarters of a cup of white sugar. There's one cup of white sugar total in the recipe, but we've reserved a quarter cup of that to go with the strawberries, which I'll show you in a minute. So I wanna put the five yolks in the big mixing bowl, and I'm gonna to have to separate them, and I'll save my whites for my breakfast for tomorrow. So we're just gonna take our five eggs, and we're going to separate them. I like to do them by hand. I find it's the easiest way, just to let the whites roll through your fingers. So we're just gonna take one at a time. and just go back and forth like that until you have just the yolk. And then we're gonna put the yolks in that large mixing bowl. I'm actually gonna put the shells in a separate bowl because I wanna have these whites for my breakfast tomorrow. Don't waste those, make some meringues, put them in your omelet. So I'll just go through and do this until we have the five yolks. It's okay if one of the yolks breaks, but just make sure you get it in that bowl as fast as you can. All right, and that's number five. Okay, what we're gonna do next is take that three quarter cup of white sugar I was mentioning, add it to our five yolks, and you need to beat this vigorously for like a minute or two minutes, because what you wanna have happen is have those yolks pale yellow and really thick. So you really wanna beat these up, and this will ensure a very soft custard. Okay, there, see? See how pale yellow it is? And look how thick it is. When you go like this, you'll see the ribbons of it on top of the yolk mixture. That's perfect. Let's go over to the stove top and heat the milk and cream. Okay, we have this over medium low heat. You're gonna wanna keep an eye on it. And you wanna heat this just until you start seeing some steam coming off there and the odd little bubble. We don't want it to boil. So just before it comes to a simmer is when I want you to turn off the heat and take it off the stove top. And then we'll go back to our egg yolks. Okay, you can just now start to see some of the steam coming off. If you look closely, you'll see the odd little bubble coming up and we're there. I'm gonna turn off the heat and let's go back to the countertop with those egg yolks. Okay, we need to now add this hot milk and cream mixture into the egg yolks without cooking the eggs. This is called tempering. I'll show you how easy this is. So we're gonna be drizzling this in very slowly. I'm gonna be using one hand to whisk it in and your bowl may not stay steady. So a little tip for you, I just take a damp cloth and I fold up the corners to make a little nest that my mixing bowl can now sit on. And because it's damp, it's gonna hold it into place a lot better. Let me show you this. So we're going to whisk, and again, very slowly with that hot mixture, you're just going to add a little bit at a time, work it in, make sure you get it worked in before you add any more. And then add a little bit more. And you gotta do this really slow. As you get more in there, you can go a little faster because the eggs will be coming up to temperature. But the last thing we wanna have happen is add a whole bunch of heat all at once and then turn those egg yolks into scrambled eggs. It doesn't take long. You just have to be really slow to begin with. 
Then as we get in there, you can add a bit more, a little faster. And so all the milk and cream mixture is in there. So we need that pot again. So what I do is I just take that damp rag now and I just wipe up the drips off the side of the pot so we can go back to the stove top. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna put that custard now back into the pot. And make sure you use a spatula to get in there and scrape everything out. And let's go to the stove top again. Okay, medium low heat again. But now I want you to stir constantly. I want you to baby this. We do not want to cook those egg yolks into scrambled eggs. Remember that, right? So we've got to keep it moving. What you're looking for is for this to be a temperature of 175 degrees Fahrenheit. So you're going to need an instant read thermometer and you're going to want to keep an eye on it. Keep it moving at all times and get into the edges of the pot. Make sure you're getting all of it moved around. I'm at about 137, 136, 137 right now. So I'll just keep checking it i'll keep putting it in there but again it's so important to keep that moving at all times and what we're doing now is we're creating a full custard we're having those egg yolks thicken up to give this custard really nice body and again for it to do that we need to have it up to temperature i don't even list in the recipe how long this step takes because it's not about time it's about temperature only those egg yolks must come up to temperature very slowly so we'll keep stirring it constantly until we hit that temperature and i'll keep monitoring that Okay, we're there. We're 175 right now. See how it coats the spoon like that? We want to make sure that we take it off the heat now, and I'll show you the next couple ingredients. All right, our next two ingredients are going to be one tablespoon of vanilla extract and just a quarter teaspoon of salt. You need it balanced, right? Stir that all together. And then you wanna get it out of this hot pot into a bowl, like we use a glass bowl, and we're gonna chill this in the fridge. Again, make sure you're using a spatula to get every drop in there. Oh, it smells wonderful with the vanilla in there. Now you're gonna to wanna to put a lid on this and chill this in your refrigerator. Eight to 12 hours, I prefer 24 hours, just to make sure this mixture is completely chilled. Now comes the fun part. This is where we're gonna transform this frozen custard into something extraordinary. So the first thing we're gonna do is preheat our oven, 400 degrees. You're also gonna to wanna to have a small baking tray standing by. So about a 12 by 12 small tray. One from your toaster oven will be great. And then a piece of parchment paper. And that's what we're gonna roast the strawberries on. And let me show you what we're gonna do with these strawberries. So these have already been washed and hauled. I wash them first, rinse them before I take the green tops off because I don't want to get any water inside there. Water's going to blend them out. And I have one pound of the strawberries. And all we're going to do is we're going to quarter them. So cut them into four like that and then collect them in a bowl over here. If you have bigger ones, obviously there's different sizes. Look at the huge one here. Then cut it in half. And instead of doing it in half again, I just cut it into thirds, each half into thirds, just to get them smaller pieces. We are going to mash them up, but you'll want to have these strawberries roasted evenly in the oven so they become evenly cooked. So just go through your one pound of strawberries until they're all okay, done. Here's my last one. We're going to add it to the bowl here. And to those beautiful fresh strawberries, we're going to add two tablespoons of balsamic vinegar and one quarter cup of white sugar. Stir those thoroughly around. And then take that tray with the parchment paper and place your strawberries on top of there. Make sure you get out all that sugar and balsamic onto the strawberries. Now scatter them around. You'll notice that my parchment paper is a little big for the tray. That's okay. I want that so I can easily lift them up off the tray after they're done. And spread them around. You want these to roast evenly. This is going to provide some intense flavor to our frozen custard. And once your oven is preheated, put these in there for approximately 10 minutes and you're waiting for that balsamic to look a little bit syrupy and the strawberries will be really soft. Okay, it's been 10 minutes and what you're looking for are for these strawberries. They're soft and just the balsamic looks a bit syrupy, right? That's what we're looking for. And we're gonna take these strawberries and put them in a bowl. Again, this is why I leave the parchment paper so big is that so I can take this now and transfer it easily into a bowl. And since we're chilling the custard anyway for 24 hours, I want you to do the same thing with the strawberries uncovered in the fridge 24 hours until they're completely cold. So I'll see you back here tomorrow. Hey, don't worry, it's gonna be in the same video. In no time at all, I'll be back to show you how we bring this whole thing together.
All right, let's get busy and finish this frozen custard, shall we? Now that the strawberries have chilled overnight, our next step is to take a masher and we wanna mash these. You want this to resemble a chunky salsa. One other ingredient that's optional is a tablespoon of vodka. You don't have to use this, but I find that the strawberry swirl doesn't freeze as hard by incorporating that one tablespoon of vodka. So we're just going to mash it with this potato masher until again, it resembles a chunky salsa. This will get that strawberry flavor incorporated with the balsamic. And you'll notice a lot of juices have come out of the strawberries too, right? That's normal with all that sugar in there. We're about there. I'm gonna pop that back in the fridge just until we have our custard ready to go. Okay, you do need an ice cream maker for this. There's no way around that part. And once you have your barrel of your ice cream maker completely frozen, we're gonna set this up and I'll show you how easy this is. I'm gonna lock it into place here. Okay, we're gonna take our chilled custard now, turn on the machine and make this into frozen custard. All right, we have our mixture in our ice cream maker. Now, depending on the brand of your ice cream maker, this part here is gonna take about 15 to 20 minutes. You're looking for the frozen custard to be the consistency of a soft serve ice cream. And I'll show you that once we're at that stage. You can see that it's starting to get thick, but that's only five minutes. So again, all depends how cold your ice cream maker is and what brand it is. Approximately 15 to 20 minutes until we're there. All right, look at that. You'll notice a big difference now from what it looked like before. Now you're gonna wanna work very quickly so that the custard doesn't melt too much. And we need to transfer it now into a container that you're going to freeze it at. No, it's not ready yet, I'm sorry. We still have to freeze it. So I'm just gonna take everything out of the ice cream maker. I'm not gonna take too much off this paddle. One of my kids is sure gonna be happy to lick that off, I'm sure. And then get it all out of the barrel of the ice cream maker. You can see how fast it starts to thaw. So you gotta be very, very quick. And once you're there, take your strawberry mixture and you just wanna swirl that throughout. You don't wanna completely combine. You wanna be able to see the veins of balsamic strawberry throughout your custard. So just very quickly, gently get that together, make it a nice level mixture. And now time to pop that in the freezer right away with a lid. Now comes my favorite part. Now remember, you have to let that freeze a good eight to 10 hours before you can serve it. But once you're there, man, you're gonna be so excited. So I'm just gonna get some of it here so I can try it. Oh yeah, I think I'm gonna go three scoops today. Look at that, beautiful. You grab a spoon and I can hardly wait to dive into this. Mmm. That is so good. And man, the balsamic vinegar just makes those strawberry flavors so intense. I know you're gonna absolutely love this recipe. It takes a bit of work, I get that, but it's so worth it. Make sure you're checking out the website at bcegg.com for a whole bunch of other great recipes, tips and tricks. And this is Chef Dez signing out. Where are you getting your protein from?